everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a travel agent and a travel coach. So this is a question that I've been getting quite a lot from people, so I just wanted to pro provide some clarity for you guys. So a travel agent, as you may know, is someone who, if you're going, you want to go on a trip or vacation, uh, you pay them and they will do a booking and a full itinerary and take care of everything for you. You just tell them where you want to go, you know, how many people, what time frame, um, and every all the details that you can, and they will coordinate and put it all together and do like everything for you. So even though I have experience in doing stuff like that, that isn't really where my passions lie. I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really like having the responsibility of people's bookings and itineraries and flights and everything like that. Um, but instead I wanted to take what I knew and learned and did through traveling and how I was able to travel so much and uh, the skills and knowledge that I had. And I really enjoyed through my blog of helping people when people would reach out to me and ask, you know, how I was able to travel so much, how do I afford it, you know, how do I know where to go, how do I stay safe, how do I go alone, like every, all those type of questions. And that's what led me into my career as a travel coach, which um, is the difference between a travel coach and a travel agent, is that a travel coach uh, doesn't get a certified, or you can get certified, but it isn't like a travel agent where you have to have a specific certification to be dubbed a travel agent. As a travel coach, you are teaching someone through your personal experience, knowledge, expertise, whatever uh, specialties that you have through the transformation of travel in your life, and you help others who want to obtain or have a similar um, you know, transformation or travel experience or do what something similar that in their like life that you did for yours. So for instance, there's a variety of different ways or uh, types of travel coaches. It depends upon your interests and your skills and your knowledge and whatever you enjoy most about traveling and whatever kind of experiences and knowledge you have most about traveling. So some examples of what travel coaches could specialize in would be like a travel photographer. So let's say for instance, if it's someone who does travel photography, you have an Instagram, you have a blog and you love to take really cool photos um, and you have you know, there's people then they, they ask you like, how do you do what you do? How do you know where to go? What camera do you use? All that type of stuff. And you know, how do you travel in general to those places? That's all knowledge that you have. That's all, ex, you know, that's your personal ex, expertise. That's your experiences. That's your, your specialty. There's also people who travel as parents with their kids. Um, you know, other parents want to know, how do you travel with your kids? What do you do? How do you find flights? Like, where do you stay? stuff like that. So if you are a parent who travels with your children or you're a solo parent with your child or or you're a travel couple and you mastered the art of traveling together whether it's on a budget or or in any way, you know, with a partner. There's people who are travel coaches who are adventure travelers. So you may have people who want to know how do you find, you know, the best hikes and um, you know, I really like climbing mountains and uh, doing long hikes through different countries um, how do you find those that's like my interest and as a travel coach if you are into adventure travel you can teach people how you did it and how what do you know and what you use and your ways of you know your skills and your techniques um, there's just so many different um, niches and specialties that lie within becoming a travel coach. For instance, for me, I mastered um, the art of solo female backpacking as well as budget travel. And that's what allowed me to travel to over 77 countries by the age of 30, and all on my own funds. And people always ask me, like, how do you do it? And I really enjoy sharing my information, but instead I took it a step further from just having a blog and I started my own business. And so I can continue to have the lifestyle that I want to have and do it where my passions lie and help others achieve something similar in their life because I travel and I know so much and learn so much and have done so much and I just really, really love sharing that with others and helping them achieve whatever travel goals it is that they have, whether it's you know a short-term travel, one trip travel, it's traveling alone, building their confidence to travel, so many different things that travel coaches uh, tap into that travel agents don't. So that is the primary difference between a travel agent and a travel coach. If you have any other questions or anything, please, please reach out to me and let me know. I do have a free masterclass on uh, travel coaching and every, it goes a deep dive into exactly what it is and everything it entails. 
So if you want to learn even more about uh, travel coaching, click the link. If you're on Instagram, the link's in my bio. If you're on Facebook, follow me on Sahara Roads Travels, my Facebook page. If you're super interested, I am the founder of the Travel Coach Network. I have a Facebook group. You can join there or visit me on uh, either sahirosetravels.com or thetravelcoachnetwork.com. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.